Hello all, welcome back to Career with Vasant YouTube channel. My name is Vasant. I hope you all doing well. So this is a video where we are going to discuss another machine coding question. As you know, last video we are discuss about the traffic light. So this is another important question. I have asked this question almost all of my mock interviews and even different companies interview that I have taken in the past. This is looks very simple but difficult to achieve unless you know the concepts of React very much in depth. Okay. So what is that we are going to build? This is what we are going to build. Okay. So as you see, there is a timer that is just reducing. And let's say if I click on pause, whatever whatever the count that was shown, that there itself we are pausing. Whenever I click on resume, again it would uh, start decrementing. Finally, it reaches the value of zero, and below zero, it it cannot be reduced further. So again, I'm explaining the question. So given a count, you keep decrementing the count to a value which is greater than or equal to zero. So once we reach the zero, we are not going to decrement it any further. Okay, that's what we are going to implement. This is more like you could consider like whatever. a uh, stop or that is used in athletics and other things it's right? the same thing that we are going to try to do here okay i have started with the basic i have actually coded it one to two times i might make some mistakes but uh, let's see i'm going to just code like any one of you how you do this in the interview okay so now i have removed everything i have nothing so in app dot js i have uh, imported countdown timer and that is the component that going to that, that is rendering now okay so now let me tell you clearly whenever such question asked to you in the interview one of the important thing that you need to do is whenever you are dealing with a timer make sure you understand like what is the interval with which you need to increase decrease etc at the time okay and always remember the property of closure whenever you are using a set time out or set interval inside the use effect and whatever the state variable that you pass to set interval or set time out only that value will be now for example you have a set time out and you set some value inside that like the delay of some state variable and only that value will be known unless if use effect is not re-rendering set time out or set interval will not get to know the updated value for example you passed a count as the delay which whose for example that count pointing like 1 second later you did lot of operations and the count became like 100 that still not going to be reflected in the set time out because it's forming a property of closure whatever it was new whenever it got created only that is known to it okay now without wasting further time let's get started with that keeping that property in the mind so i'm passing that initial count as a prop to this okay so const so what i'm going to do is the current count okay the current count so set current count so i'm initializing that with i'm initializing that with the initial count okay this is my count current count is this okay so next would be uh, i need to actually create one use effect why i need to create a use effect because at a periodic interval at a particular delay i want to trigger the set interval correct so until i complete my coding maybe i'll hide this so that you can see it in much better way maybe i would increase little bit of my font size also okay so now inside this i'll create like set interval okay i'm going to create a set interval what is the delay here it is like 1 second because every 1 second we are decrementing so it is static okay and then what we are going to do here is we have to set the current count correct what is the current count previous count whatever the previous count was there previous count minus 1 correct so whenever the previous count value whatever it was from that we are minusing okay now we need to keep track of one thing where current count cannot reach 0 correct so if current count greater than 0 only then perform this operation correct otherwise we do should not do because that is my requirement if you can go to negative numbers also then you can you don't have to keep this check okay and then So now what is the next thing that we need to do So let us build the basic UI okay So I would have a h1 tag where I'm going to render the current count okay let me create two buttons one for pause another one for the resume see I'm not giving too much importance for the uh, uh, UI here or the CSS property I'm I'm primarily focusing about the logic building okay let me create two uh, functions on pause on pause and on resume okay see in interview also whatever you are seeing right now i'm going to do it in the same way okay only difference is here i know solution uh, because i practice it once but the approach is going to be pretty much remain the same so that now all the building blocks that is required to solve this problem is done now i have the on pause on resume and i also created the basic ui correct now maybe if you wish to see we can see on the ui so where as you know it is going min minus and all it's going because we have not completed the implementation but pause and resume and this number we are able to see correct now so now what next i'm going to do is 
whenever on pause happened i need to keep a state variable to check whether the uh, particular uh, timer whatever that we are decrementing that is going to be paused or not correct so i'm creating a variable is paused okay is paused with a default value of false because by default it is not paused correct so then whenever it is paused i'm going to set it like is paused is equal to true and whenever i'm on resume is paused is set as false correct so this much i have done and definitely i need to whenever that is pause is changed that time also i need to re render this and definitely as you also know whenever it is paused i need to have to like decrement the count correct only when it is not paused i need to be decrementing the count so that check also i kept now the most important point here is every time whenever you pause right by that after that point in time still you need to have a reference to the current count correct otherwise what would happen is if you create a state variable after re-rendering we might lose the previous count value for that we need to use the use ref okay so i'm using a const timer where i am using the use ref i'm initializing that with null so what is the difference between use ref and use state use ref even after re-rendering it will still hold the previous value it's not going to lose the reference to the previous value use state might lose because of which we are using the use ref here what we are doing time or dot current is equal to i'm initializing it to this okay so that what i can do is whenever first of all the component is um component is unmounted definitely i'm going to clear this correct clear interval i'm going to clear this correct there is another place where i'm clearing it that is that is whenever actually we are paused correct whenever we are pausing that time whatever the previous set interval was there that i'm going to stopping okay but the value what that's only i have kept the value of the set interval into the timer dot current as a reference so i'm clearing that but whatever the count was there that count value is going to be still retained and we are going to continue whenever user passes on on pause and on resume okay so now i'm going to click click on click on click is on pause and on click is on resume okay again this code will be also available on my github repository so you don't have to worry like uh, about the code and you don't have to note on anything just before i render in case you are watching me first time on the internet my name is wasant like all youtube i am a content creator i help uh, people to clear their interview i make a lot of good content about front end interview preparation career coaching etc so if you are not already subscribed to my channel please subscribe like the video comment whatever you felt honestly so far okay because this helps me to get get more reach now let me go and uh, show you what is shown on the screen okay let me refresh it we have 10 9 8 Seven. Let it first go till zero. Then I'm gonna check again. Pause and resume. Okay. Two, one, zero. Okay. We are not going any further, which is wonderful. So now let us see. Ten, nine. I'm pausing. Yeah. As you see, the count has been paused, and I would. I'm again resuming. See, again it is reducing. Again I'm pausing. It has been seven. Okay. Now let's look at the solution completely from end to end once again. Okay. So uh, from app dot js, I'm calling the countdown timer. I'm passing the initial count as ten here. Okay. and that initial count i'm making as a current count value so never mutate the state directly so you got the state initial count don't change that variable directly use state variable or local variable so i've assigned it to a local variable then i'm using is pause and set is pause a state variable so where which is used to like check whether the state is uh, whether the count need to be paused or resumed okay so then i have a use effect inside use effect i'm passing the two state variable so whenever the current count changes i need to uh, trigger this whenever the is paused is changed then also i need to trigger inside the use effect okay two different states the reason i have already told in the video then i have created two functions your on pause and on resume so on pause basically i am setting the pause as true on resume i am setting it as a false on pause whenever i am pausing i am also clearing the previous interval because whenever you resume it's a new interval that is getting started okay because for that only i am using the property of use ref and uh, use ref and i am assigning it to the timer variable and i'm using it okay the complete code will be available on my github repository i'm sure you understood it but there is different ways to solve this problem without using the use ref also if you know that approach please mention that in the comment section i'm going to review your code and let you know whether whatever you coded is correct or not okay thank you so much for watching if i like i told if you watching me first time on the internet and not subscribe to my channel please subscribe i'm going to bring more such good content on my channel you subscribing will help me to bring uh, more such good content it's not about this machine coding i have more 18 plus mock interviews on my channel 35 plus videos about basics of javascript a lot of videos about react js interview preparation and uh, there are a lot of videos about dsa there 
a lot of web seminars uh, webinars we have created and those videos are captured there basics of dsa videos are there there's so much good content about front end and interview preparation subscribe to my channel watch all the series link to all the series will be in the description section also thank you so much for watching catch you in the next video